They are telling something absolute about a person outside the context in which, in, in which they ended. So let me end just by coming back to some of the practical implications of all of this. And one of the practical implications is the issue about surveillance. There was a question about surveillance of genetic information and, and Brian had a comment on it as well. But we all know that we live in the most heavily surveillance-oriented society in the world. Um, I don't know now the number of times that all of us who live in London have been photographed by CCTV cameras um, day by day. Is it 13 or is it 39? I can't remember the figures that it's claimed to be at the moment. But we are moving to increasing surveillance. Um, I had a birthday party sort of a little while ago, and um, actually about two days ago, and my um, son brought me a sat-nav um, as a birthday present. It's great, but I discovered not only can I can locate my house in the sat-nav, but I can locate what is the nearest petrol station to my house. I can doubtless locate where is the nearest political meeting to my house, and all sorts of things simply coming through in that way. But that's not where it is ending. It is ending not just with looking at the outside of people by surveillance, but the inside as well. The inside is partly genetic, and it's partly what I've not talked about at all today, but concerns me greatly, and that is the increasing use of brain imaging techniques, like the ones to image who, lesbian versus gay brains that I mentioned at the very beginning, in order to provide a prospective diagnosis of whether you are likely to be um, or have been to a revolutionary training camp, a terrorist training camp. Or like, I'm not joking. You can actually find a website at the moment in the United States um, which is actually offering, it's called brain fingerprinting, to do precisely this, to be able to image people's brains and tell, A, whether you have terrorist or revolutionary tendencies, B, whether you've been to a training camp recently, um, and C, etc., etc. Well, you can read it yourself. Look up brain fingerprinting on a web on Google, and you'll find it there. Now that worries me because we are moving from external to internal surveillance, and that's where this particular claim is beginning to have increasing resonance in controlling the world in which we live. And there's time to stop. <laughs>